Hello everyone, back again with Girl Crime Recaps. In this video, I'm going to recap a 2014 sci-fi action movie, titled, Lucy. Before we get to the storyline, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Now sit back, relax and enjoy the movie. Einstein's brain was 10% more developed than the typical person's, which is merely 7%. What would the brain be like if it were fully developed? Lucy is a typical teenage girl. She enters a hotel with a luggage after her boyfriend played a joke on her. It's a straightforward duty for her to deliver the case to her employer. Yet, the employer is quite watchful. Her lover, who was standing at the door, gets shot by him as he sends his guys to retrieve the case. Once inside the elevator, they dragged Lucy. Lucy feels as though this is not a routine transaction. She is brought to her hotel room. The mob boss exits the restroom and peers out. The bodies that were still on the floor hadn't been removed. Lucy is utterly terrified. She incessantly begged the mob boss to ignore her. Such a thing would ruin a normal person. The mob boss remained silent. On some paper, he jotted down three numbers. He then turned around, left the space, and crept behind the door. His followers gathered their riot shields and got ready for the fight know that the box must contain dangerous items. Faced with a threat to her life, Lucy agreed to open the box. When she opened the box with a shutter, she was greeted by four packets of blue rice. At this point, the mob boss's man brought in a man to test the composition of the blue rice. Men are immediately aroused. After inhaling, the mob boss shoots him right in front of Lucy. In a matter of minutes, Lucy experienced the darkest moment of her life. She fades into unconsciousness. When she woke up again, she found herself. The strange room her stomach is still covered in blood. The mob boss's men take her to the lobby. Three other men have suffered the same fate. As her mob boss threatened their families, he ordered them to take the blue rice in their bellies to four places. When the mission is complete, they will be set free. They also receive a substantial commission. Lucy was then taken to a small dark room to wait. The tattooed man saw Lucy and was attracted to her but Lucy was very resistant. The tattooed man then pinned Lucy to the ground and kicked her in the stomach. The man dragged him out of the room, fearing someone would die. The uninformed men didn't know what was inside Lucy's stomach. After the violent beating, the packaging inside Luby's body ruptured. The blue rice flowed into all corners of her body along with the blood. Even her eyes had turned blue. Lucy was lying on the floor in pain and twitching. As more and more blue rice flowed into her body Lucy's body began to lose its gravity and floated in the air. By the time she woke up again, her brain power had developed by 20%, but Lucy is unaware of this and is surprisingly calm. That's when the mob boss's man returned. I thought this man would behave himself, but I didn't expect him to be a rotten person. With a single move, Lucy seized the opportunity and knocked him to the ground. She then pulled a belt over the table, grabbed a pistol and went into the front hall. In an instant she had killed all the guards on guard. Lucy then went out and found a taxi to the hospital. Lucy rushed into the operating theater, took one look at the patient's brain CT and then shot her, ending her suffering. Lucy had done all this without a trace of emotion yesterday. Lucy was just a young girl. After a night of transformation, her brain is now 20% developed. She is like a machine without feelings. She lies on the operating table and lets the doctors remove the foreign body from her abdomen. No anesthetic was administered throughout the operation. She even used the time to call her mother. Lucy was unsure of what was happening to her body. She can now remember clearly what happened to her when she was less than a year old. She can also feel the gravitational pull of her brain and the earth. She can also feel the energy flow of the trees. After leaving the hospital, Lucy made her way to the hotel. First, she quickly finished off the mob boss's men with her pistol. Then she went to the mob boss. Lucy pressed mob boss's head and read his memory after learning where the other three men had gone. She then turned around and left without killing the mob boss. Back at her place, Lucy used her computer to access the information she had read, the professor's life's work. In just a few minutes, the professor had spent his life studying brain development courses. His theories had even extrapolated to developing 40% of the brain's capabilities, and what he had written was the same as Lucy's current situation. The professor is resting at the hotel. When he received a phone call, Lucy said that she had read all of the professor's research. The professor laughed and was flattered. The professor didn't believe her. But what Lucy did next changed the professor's mind. Straight away, a woman suddenly appeared on the TV followed by computers, mobile phones, radios. This is bizarre. 
Lucy told the professor that the cells in her body were growing by the millions every second. At this rate, she doesn't think she'll survive another day. She's even starting to lose her humanity. Her mind was now full of the knowledge of the universe and new expertise was always coming out. The professor was speechless, after all. What he knew was only speculation Lucy's existence would be a new twist on humanity. Lucy said she would meet him in 12 hours. Right now she had some business to attend to. Yesterday's hospital shooting had put Lucy in the news, now it's being reported everywhere. Lucy had to change her appearance. She calls the nearby police station and sends Del Rio's computer the details of the three dangerous. And although Del Rio was incredulous, he did as he was told. The arrests went smoothly. The three men were caught one by one by this time Lucy was on the plane. While drinking water, she noticed that her teeth had inexplicably fallen out. Her brain is now at 40% and her body is beginning to show signs of collapse. Her fingers slowly turn to powder Lucy's body slowly begins to fade away as her cells dissipate. She panics and runs to the bathroom of the plane. She looked in the mirror and saw herself fading away from her. Human form Lucy hurriedly rummaged through her bag, found the remaining half bag of blue rice, and stuffed it all into her mouth. Her body slowly reverted to its original form. Her brain was now at 50% when she woke up, she found herself in a hospital. There was an extra handcuff on her hand. The nurse saw that she was awake and immediately went to call someone. When Del Rio arrives with his man, he sees Lucy standing in the hospital corridor. He raised his gun and wanted Lucy to put her hands up and surrender. The next moment, Lucy put everyone to sleep. Lucy stepped closer to him. Del Rio tried to hold on, but the gun had surrendered. Without further ado, Lucy asked him where the remaining blue rice was. The only way to be safe is to have it in her possession. Del Rio had to take her to the hospital. On the way, Lucy got a message from the mob bosses. They were also heading to the hospital. At this point, Lucy switched places with Del Rio and she drove the car Lucy's driving skills dazzled Del Rio. She was able to anticipate all the routes and get to the hospital as quickly as possible. Luckily, Lucy arrives with Del Rio just in time. As the group is leaving Lucy's brain is now at 60%. They tried to exit through the back door but were blocked by a transparent wall. All their weapons flew up to the ceiling. They tried to fight Lucy physically. Before they could get close to her body, they inexplicably floated upwards. The men could only watch as Lucy took the case from their hands. Del Rio felt Lucy didn't need him. Lucy doesn't think so, she has lost her humanity, keeping Del Rio around is the only way to keep her. She doesn't want to hurt human lives anymore because she had the beginnings of a killing spree. On their way to the professor's lab, Lucy and Del Rio are met by an oncoming mob boss. In revenge, the mob boss led the men after them. Lucy arrives at the professor's lab. The staff questioned her. Lucy had to demonstrate life to dig out his innermost memories that he wanted to forget and explain to them the meaning of the evolution of life and the unit of measurement that underpins all things. Time. Time is fundamental just then. The mob boss breaks into the school with his man. Lucy only has a little time left. She decides to gather all the knowledge she has in her head onto a USB stick and give it to the professor. Lucy absorbed all the remaining three packets of blue rice. Her body began to change. At this point, her brain development level was raised to 90% in those few short minutes Lucy's body kept crossing. She saw the speed of human development to date and the origins of intelligent life. An app with the same name as her, Lucy just as her. Rain was about to be developed. Finish. Lucy even saw the nature of the universe. The mob boss breaks into the lab and puts a gun on Lucy's head as he was about to pull the trigger. Lucy disappeared into thin air. With his revenge still intact. The mob boss goes crazy. He aims his gun at the professor and the others. At that moment, Del Rio arrives and kills the mob boss on the spot Lucy's body has transformed into a computer. She stored all her knowledge on a USB stick and gave it to the professor. As soon as the professor unplugged the flash drive, Lucy disappeared. Del Rio could not accept this fact. He asked the professor where Lucy had gone. Lucy had disappeared, but the ultimate direction in which she will complete her evolution is to abandon her physical body completely and live forever in the world in full consciousness. You guys are fantastic if you have seen this far in the video. Thanks for watching. If our girl crime recaps amuse you, please remember to ring the notification bell and the subscribe button. Thank you.